I'm going to show you two ways to fold a sweater today. I used to work in retail, so I have folded a lot of sweaters. And um, the two basic ways, there's one that will give you a flatter bifold, which is great for stacking and closets. And there's one that will give you a nice chunky fold, which is great for if you're going to do the Marie Kondo method of storing them in drawers. So here is the first one. Um, you just lay it out. Either way, you take your sweater and you lay it out face down. Um, and then you're going to take your sleeves and go across the top of the sweater one way and across the top of the sweater right below it so that you kind of cover this whole top without any overlap and it gives it a nice flat even symmetrical um, thing so that next when you go ahead and you fold in you can look at your um, tag to kind of know the halfway point but you're folding these sides to the halfway point and you fold it to the halfway point like that and then you fold the bottom up to the top and you flip it and you have a nice flat bifold. It's that easy. And then you can stack them up in your in your closet nice and flat that way. So another thing you can do is instead of doing the bifold, you could make that into a trifold by doing that and then that. And you'd have a nice chunkier fold for your drawer. Uh, so that works really well. If you want it to be even chunkier, I think the um, the Marie Kondo method is also similar where you start it with it face down and then you fold halfway before you do the arms on this one is the difference and so you fold halfway looking at your your label you get the idea there and you have these going out um, and then you fold them down and that leaves kind of a, an arrow pointing up and you do it into thirds and that is a little bit chunkier even that works great for um, if you're trying to fill up shelves and you only have a few sweaters and you want a nice chunky fold or to put into the shallow drawers so there you have it